Theory of Island Biogeography was developed by two eminent ecologists, the late Robert MacArthur of Princeton University and E.O. Wilson of Harvard. The idea of island biogeography suggests that immigration and extinction influence the number of species found in an undisturbed island environment. Immigration and emigration are affected by the distance of an island from a source of colonists. Islands that are more isolated are less likely to receive immigrants than islands that are less isolated. In addition to having an effect on immigration rates, isolation can also affect extinction rates. Populations on islands that are less isolated are less likely to go extinct because individuals from the source population and other islands can immigrate and rescue the population from extinction. This is known as the rescue effect. In addition to having an effect on extinction, island size can also affect immigration rates. Species may actively target larger islands for their greater number of resources and available niches, or larger islands may accumulate more species by chance just because they are larger. This is the target effect. The rate of extinction once a species manages to colonize an island is affected by island size. Larger islands contain larger habitat areas and opportunities for more different varieties of habitat. Larger habitat size reduces the probability of extinction due to chance events. Habitat heterogeneity increases the number of species that will be successful after immigration. One famous test of the theory was provided in 1883 by a catastrophic volcanic explosion that devastated the island of Krakatoa, located between the islands of Sumatra and Java. The flora and fauna of its remnant and of two adjacent islands were completely exterminated, yet within 25 years, 1908, 13 species of birds had recolonized what was left of the island. By 1919-21, 28 bird species were present, and by 1932-34, 29, between the explosion and 1934, 34 species actually became established, but five of them went extinct. By 1951, 52, 33 species were present, and by 1984, 85, 35 species. During this half century, 1934 to 1985, a further 14 species had become established, and eight had become extinct. As the theory predicted, the rate of increase declined as more and more species colonized the island. In addition, as equilibrium was approached there was some turnover, the number in the cast remained roughly the same while the actors gradually changed. 